All right, guys, check this out. Throwback, LeBron's 56 points versus the Warriors. So he scored his season-high 56 points last year on 3-5. The year Super Bowl 56 was held in L.A. and won by L.A. Rams. And, of course, LeBron attended the game. Now look at this. LeBron James has epic 56-point game, tells Matthew Stafford the show, the show was for him. Matthew Stafford is now Super Bowl winning quarterback and perhaps on his way to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So what are the perks of living as a star in Hollywood? How about courtside seats to a Los Angeles Lakers game while treated to a historic LeBron James performance? Even better, acknowledgements from the king himself throughout the game. James had one of his greatest performances Saturday night in a 124-118 win against his nemesis Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And apparently, it was all for Stafford. That's right, the former Detroit Lions quarterback, fresh off a Super Bowl 56 win with the Los Angeles Rams, was sitting a few feet away from the Lakers bench and interacted with James while he cooked the Warriors. James, who coincidentally scored 56 points, yes, coincidentally, tied for the third most in his legendary career. Just know that Super Bowl 56 was decided by three points and the opening touchdown was by Odo Beckham wearing number three, like I predicted. Hit back-to-back -back three pointers in the fourth quarter to give the Lakers the lead and said something to an impressed Stafford on his way back to the bench. In the final minute coming out of a timeout, James told Stafford he was the inspiration for the virtuoso performance. I can't have you in the building and not put on a show, James said, as Stafford and his wife Kelly laughed and cheered. It was the 13th time James has scored at least 50 in a regular season game. He finished 19 for 31 and hit six of his 11 three-point attempts. At 37 years old, he's averaging 29.4 points per game, third in the NBA, and just a tick behind Joel Embiid and Giannis. So, can you see how coded this all is? What a show it all is. He literally said he put on a show. Just insanity. So he scored 56 points, guys, on 3-5. King James in Gematri equals 35. The Warriors, they had 35 season wins at home coming into the series with LA. They're still on that after losing game one. LeBron James drops 56-point game versus Warriors. So LeBron's nickname is King James. King Charles will be coronated on 5-6. Royal family equals 56. It's interesting that LeBron's Lakers take on the Warriors today in game two. 5-6 is two days away. Royal family equals 56. Lakers equals 56. Of course, if LeBron James wins the NBA Finals, it'd be five and six in NBA Finals. Coronavirus, guys, was declared a global pandemic exactly 18 years and six months before 9-11, okay? 186. When you add up 18 and 16, you get 24, which was Kobe's jersey number. And also, LeBron James became the NBA's all-time leading point scorer exactly 24 months after Tom Brady won his final Super Bowl. So, look how 9-11-2001 was on 41 Dayton Emoji Pure. And Kobe Bryant died at age 41. Coronavirus was declared a global pandemic on 54 Dayton Emoji Pure. Kobe Bryant died a span of five months and four days after his 41st birthday. LeBron James overtook Kobe in the scoring charts on the 25th of January, 2020. 2 5 the 54th prime. So LeBron's 56-point game versus the Warriors, guys, was one year, eight weeks, and six days before Charles will be coronated. One eight six. Charles is, of course, being coronated on 54 date new emoji as well. This is insanity, guys. It's insanity. Charles is going to be coronated on double 18 date numerology. LeBron and Kobe made their NBA debuts at age 18. Kobe died on 126. King Charles is going to be coronated on the 126th day of the year. King Charles will be coronated on a day leaving 239 days left in the year. The 52nd prime. Kobe won five NBA finals and lost two, like 52. He retired 
the 13th of April, 13, four, 13 times 4 equals 52. Queen Elizabeth became the Queen in 52. One year, eight weeks, and six days is exactly 61 weeks. King James made his debut versus the Kings, and his highest scoring game versus the Kings was 61 points. LeBron's highest scoring game is 61 points. He did it against the Kings. He made his debut against the Kings, and his nickname is King James. 61 is the 18th prime number. LeBron made his debut versus the Kings at age 18. 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. Today is LeBron's 666 game versus the Western Conference. All right, he's played 665 games against the Western Conference in his career. Look how he's on 263 losses, the 56 prime. But he's also on 402 wins. And we know how big 42 is with the Beast of Revelation. Coronavirus was declared a global pandemic, guys, on 311. 311 is the 64th prime. King James's 56 point game was on the 64th day of the year, March the 5th. How insane, guys. It's all a show, it's all coded, it's undeniable. I show it every single day. And here's another example. I've shown how the NBA is connected to Revelation and the Royal Family so many times. The NBA season, this season began on 10-18. Luke 10-18 is about how Lucifer got cast out of heaven like a lightning bolt. The Warriors won the NBA Finals last year like I predicted six months before they did. They won it 4-2 and they closed out the NBA Finals on 6-1-6. The Beast reigns for 42 months. 6-1-6 is the alternate number of the Beast. Steph Curry, Steve Kerr and Clay Thompson all became 4-2 in NBA Finals. Since Kobe's death, the last three NBA Finals have finished 4-2. 42 times 3 is 126. He died 126 in the 42nd year of his life. 1,260 days is 42 months, which is how long the beast reigns for, guys. This is breathtaking. This is insanity. Remember, Queen Elizabeth died 911 days after coronavirus was declared a global pandemic. Her husband died at age 99 on the 99th day of the year. 9 times 11 equals 99. Super Bowl 56, the two starting quarterbacks, both wore number 9, Stafford and Burrow. That season's NFL season began on 9 9, 99 days before the Pope's birthday. And the last major playoff, Super Bowl 56, was Aaron Charles Donald, who wears number 99. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're not on my website, check it out. If you're not on my Rumble and my Twitter and my BitChute, check it out. And uh, have a blessed day and much love to you all.